Hey guys, it's your girl Megan James, and you are now tuned into the Hollywood Group Chat podcast. Period. And this episode is sponsored by the Slim Shot Clinic. If you want to get skinny without lipo, contact Slim Shot Clinic. Um, it's the shot that they give to the people who have diabetes. It's called Ozempic, but it's like a healthier version of Ozempic. You um, contact them. They give you like a tele clinic appointment, and they ship you your Ozempic for the month. So. Shout out to the Slim Shot Clinic, link in my bio if you guys want more information on that. But anyways, we have a very, 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 very special guest today. He goes by the name of Derez Deshaun. What's up, Derez? What's happening? What's happening? Um, how are you today, actually? I'm great. I feel amazing. Like, how, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, everything yep, cool? Everything cool. Everything we all cool? connected in a line. Period. Okay, so I like to start off my guests with a game just to get a little, you know, the icebreaker. Mm -hmm. So we going you, you got a girlfriend? Because I don't want to piss anybody off. You know, we gonna piss them off. We gonna piss them off. Yeah, All right, I'm cool. That's the key. We about to play <laughs> Smash or Pass. All right, All right, let's do it. Cool. So, Smash or Pass, Lizzo. For the bank roll. For the back, right? Yeah. No, yeah. for the bank roll. For the bank. Oh, for the bank roll. I yeah. thought you meant for the back. Wait, where no. you from? Cause you got a little accent. I'm from here. I'm from Atlanta. You like born and raised? Yeah. What area? The South Side, Clayton County. Clayton County. Okay, cool. So. You'll fuck, Liz you'll fuck Lizzo for the bankroll. Yeah, for the B-roll, she can get it. Okay, SZA. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure? She has smash for sure? Yeah, for sure. Um, LMA. For sure. Um, Kalani. For sure. Um, Ashanti. Definitely. Doja Cat. No. Nah. I'll have to pass on Doja yeah, Cat. I'm pass on she that. a little weird. She yeah. might put some little voodoo on you. Yeah, exactly. That's I'm what it cool. gives. Nah. Um, Tokyo Tony. She a little freaky. I don't know who that is. That's Black China Mama. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Pass. Okay, cool. Um, so, okay, so when it comes to your career, do you feel like, like you're a, rap, a rapper that slept on, like, when it comes to your potential? Well, I don't refer to myself as a rapper. I'm an artist because I do everything, but... Okay, well, let's get into on. that. Yeah, let's yeah. get into that. So you do everything. So what's everything? Rap, sing, write. I can make beats. That's really, yeah. really dope. I can do everything in the studio, record myself. So are you signed to a label? No. Nah. So when you're independent and you can do everything, that means all the money goes to you, right? I mean, you know, you and whoever you hire to help you with your business. Right. Yeah. So like, you do you make your own beats and then you like you rap over your own beats? I don't beats? do it no more, but I used to. I can. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you I can. can. You, yeah, that's yeah, actually yeah. really, really dope. Yeah. But do you consider yourself like slept on when it comes to your potential? Yes, I do. Why, like, why do you feel like that? I don't feel like I get enough credit for what I did for this industry or this game. I don't feel like I get enough recognition. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I don't get my flowers. But it's cool. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause I'm a, when they come, they're going to come. Right. Yeah. Um, if you could compare yourself to a, a rapper dead or alive, who would it be? Like, your style? Like, mm. just your whole persona? I would have to say, far as how I do it, like the message and having something to really say, mm -hmm. I would say like DMX or Tupac or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why you say that? Because I'm really saying something. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't just rapping about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do music to like, it really, it's therapeutic for me. So it helped me. So I'm knowing this helping others. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And it's something to really listen to and get you right, balance you out. Right. Yeah. So, like, what inspires you to keep going? Like, you know, working in the industry, you get, like, a lot of no's. Like, mm -hmm. you just said you, you feel like, you know, you haven't got your flowers yet. Um, and I feel like a lot of people give up. Like, what has inspired you just to keep pushing? The love for my fans, I mm -hmm. think. Um, the people who, like, you know, in my real personal space that's like, yeah, man, listen to your own music. Like, it be helping me. Like, do you, you know what I'm saying? I think mm -hmm. that's what it is. Like, I got a purpose. I got a reason. And I know it, and I'm just trying to do it because I know I'm supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. How long you been in the game? Like, how long you have you been in the industry or the music I'd industry? Say, I would say, like, five years, like, mm -hmm. being the red son, yeah. So what inspired you to go this path versus, like, a regular job or, like, what were you doing before music? I had I done had a regular job before, you know what I'm saying? But, um... What was that? What, my regular job? Mm -hmm. I don't work at a grocery store before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, UPS. Yeah. Yeah, I don't did everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but what inspired me to do this was, I don't know, I just always had a thing for music and beats, like mm -hmm. putting words on music. 
So uh, what song up to date is your, like, is your favorite song that you, like, that you made? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I got a favorite song. Mm -hmm. like, all of it. I love all of it. So w which one do you feel like put you on the map? Oh, Hardaway, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, do you feel like, you know, being born and raised in Atlanta, that you have a lot of, like, support and fans here? Or do you feel like, you know, they kind of, like, be hating a little bit? And um, you get your love from outside of Atlanta? I still, I feel like it's a little bit of both. Like, I get love, like, from people who are, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of hate at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I'll say it's a little bit of both. A little bit of both? Yeah. Um, what, like, what other city or state do you feel like, um, like the bulk of your fans come from? Like, <laughs> if you were to get, like, a venue in another city or state, where would you say you would sell out? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm saying I don't know because I don't know which one to do it like that, but I know when I go, like, when I do where my shows. Where they go shows, crazy at? Yeah, like, when I do my shows, like, I want to say, like, even, I just came from Colorado, it was packed. You know it was what packed. Were yeah. you, do you ever be surprised, like, damn, these people really yes. fuck with me, like, these people really know who I am? In Colorado, that's what I said. In really? Alaska, that's what I said. I'm like, damn. You said Alaska? Yeah, I had a show in Alaska. That's sick. Alaska? Yeah. yeah. It was probably packed out because I ain't shit to do in Alaska. Yeah, it definitely I, was. It was in Anchorage? Yeah, Anchorage. That's, yeah, I yeah, went to Anchorage yeah. before. It's like a, like a lot of army bases and shit out there. Yeah, it's all I hosted at a party, I was like, why do people live here? You know they pay people to live in Atlanta. Oh, that's why they do. Uh, you know what I thought Anchorage was? But Colorado uh, Springs gave me that same vibe. I felt like that's why all the people who get burnt out in their city, they move to like Alaska or they move to no, Colorado. No, they be paying people to live there because nobody want to live there. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> um, okay, so do you have any advice um, that you would give to like up and coming rappers like the, like the younger ones? I just tell them keep going. Um, don't let nobody get in your head and change your ideas. You know what your plans is before mm -hmm. they came in your life. They seen it too, and then don't let them change the mm -hmm. vision. Like you know what I'm saying? What your bracelets mean? Um, the green, and, the green and yellow ones. Cause you give like you give spiritual vibe. Like I, I'm very, I, am, I know my you know, people, so yeah, I be yeah, knowing. Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> feel me. Here. Like would you be on meditate? You be meditating? Yeah, I meditate. Okay, I let's pray talk a lot. about it. Yeah, let's yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. it. So, cause you know, like I be feeling like black people really don't be on that. Like, black people don't really be on that. Like right. on that on that wavelength. And I mm -hmm. feel like us as people, we need to like let go of like. I don't know what it, I I don't know how to explain it without sounding crazy, but I just feel like black people are not as open minded as they should be, I agree. and especially when it comes to like spirituality and like manifestation and stuff. I and agree. I feel like, you know, a lot of us aren't where we need to be in life because, like, of our mindset. Right, but it's it's, it's you know I try my best to let people know when I talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's okay to believe whatever you want to believe, but don't shut someone out and say it's wrong because you don't believe in the other. So it's like our mind is programmed a certain way, even with, you know, social media, movies, like it be, they kind of scared of what they don't know. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? People just naturally fear what they don't know. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, you know, I try like when we, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm out, somebody we talking, you know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, what are, what are, do you have any like specific like practices? Like do you do affirmations or? You know, you just, you just pray every day, you meditate. I do affirmations, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to get my boyfriend to do affirmations. It's be like, he be thinking I'm crazy. I'm like, listen to this shit. Like, yeah. law of attraction is like a real thing. Nah, facts. But he think I'm crazy. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, like, you know, people who don't know. Like, yeah. they don't understand. Like, you ain't never noticed. Oh, uh, well, people don't notice how they sit around and say, you know, oh, I'm stressed out, I'm mad. And that's how they live. That's what you see it. Because they keep saying like, it. Yeah. See, but we if you here. Start saying, yeah, but if you like, hey, I'm the richest nigga in the motherfucking building, one day you're going to be the richest nigga in the building. Right. So that's what it is. Right. So um, as far as, like, female rap, mm -hmm. like, what do you think about, about how, I guess, like, female rap has kind of altered the rap game a little bit, I feel like. Do, do you feel like it's came, like females have came in and changed the game up? Um, I feel like they came in strong this time, like this era. Like, I don't think it ever been this strong before. Like how it is now with so many different females from different places. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, I think yeah, they changed it, but not like the game. They just coming in the game and going hard. You feel right. what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like um. 
I don't know. I feel like since there have been so many more female rappers introduced to like the world mm -hmm. that like no, like male rap is kind of like falling by the wayside. Or is it just because that's what's shown in the media more? Yeah, Because I used like, to be so into, like, underground, like, male rappers and stuff. Right. Like, I used to be super into music, but this was before female rappers, like, you know, came mm -hmm. out. And this is really, like, before Instagram and stuff. I'm 33. Mm -hmm. So, like, I used to be super into music, but, mm -hmm. like, now it's, like, all I see in my face is, like, new female rappers. And it's, like, the niggas, like, like what's going on with them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think the females, I mean, you know, everybody like a bitch. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Niggas and bitches. Like, yeah. So... You know, and plus the shit they talking about, you know, pop pussy this, shake ass, trick a nigga out of their bed, like, everybody mm -hmm. on that. So, yeah. like, it's just in your face. You can't mm -hmm. help it. You know what I'm saying? So, when, when people mention female rappers, like, who's a staple to you? Like, who do you think, like, whenever I be like, if somebody's like, who's your favorite female? Who, who's making waves? Like, what's the first name you think of? Mm, see, it's a couple of them. I can't even. Okay, so give me a couple then. I'd say Bree Triller. Big Boss Vet. Oh, I like this Big Boss Vet, yeah. for sure. Like, she cool. Um, I never heard of Bree Trilla. I'm going to have to Google that one. Yeah, yeah, it's a couple of mm -hmm. them. You know what I'm saying? I don't be liking the name stuff, because if I forget, y'all know I love y'all. You love all of y'all. But yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm messing with the female vibe, yeah. OK, so speaking of females, you got a girlfriend? Yeah, I got a lot of girlfriends. Girlfriends. You Do did. you have a significant other? <laughs> I'm significant to myself. Right. So you so you just got bitches. It's cool. Yeah, I'm I here guess. for it. I'm here for it. But I love an honest <laughs> nigga. Like if you tell me you got bitches, we we gon' yeah. we're gonna treat you accordingly. Right. But um what's the qualifications to be one of the res bitches? You gotta have a brain. Like mm -hmm. I don't like dumb bitches. Like you gotta even have, the prettiest dumb bitch. Yeah, I don't you could be a fine dumb and I'll be like, nah. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. That don't I, I it don't track me off. But you can't be my bitch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> you gotta have a hustle. Like you gotta be able to. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I ain't trying to be your daddy. Like I ain't trying to babysit no bitch. Like mm -hmm. get up, get some money, show me some, give me something to help you with or improve. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I just want a real woman for real, for real. So like, like one day when I get Whenever you're ready yeah. for that. Okay. So what's your opinion on like the whole 50-50 thing? Like, do you feel like a, a man is supposed to take care of his woman or do you feel like I you're do. supposed to break it down? I do personally feel like a man is supposed to take care of Like woman. in all aspects. As in long as she keeps aspect. the house clean and all the stuff she's supposed to do, right? Yeah, as long as you doing what you as long as she's doing what she need to do to allow me to be a man. Yeah. I'm gonna take care of my bitch. Right. So Um, if you could have like um like your dream collab, mm -hmm. if you could collab with one artist like mainstream, who would it be? Chris Brown. Okay, why? Oh, I love Chris Brown. I ain't nah, he's lie. fire. Yeah. He's so good at so many things. Yeah, I love Chris Brown. What's Fort your favorite Whitney. Chris? <laughs> what's your favorite Chris <laughs> Brown song? Anyone. You can pull up anyone. But no, nah, I want to say I think grass ain't green on the other side. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that that's some shit I could play for a couple a couple times back to back. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Would you ever collab with a female rapper? And if yeah. so, which one? Anyone, any of them. Um, do you have a celebrity crush? <laughs> I don't know. I like all them bitches. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. How <laughs> do you like all of them? I just like bitches. I love bitches. I'm, I, I like all of them. Okay, so um, what's the craziest DM you ever got? You ain't got to tell me who it's from, but do the you ever get... craziest DM? Do you get, like, pussy DMs, like, any yeah. crazy shit? Yeah. Like, do you... Do, like, how do... Like, what do they be saying to you? Like, how do they man. try to bag you? Give me some lines. Man, I... Yeah. Do they be like, come over, I'm going to cook you some food? No, nah, <laughs> man. They be saying, you know, the few that I really have caught, it be stupid shit, like... <laughs> Oh, I was trying to shoot my shot. I guess I missed. Oh, oh man, I don't want to see that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the pussy pictures come through, and it be so, like. They don't ew. be pink? Nah, yeah, but it be looking crazy. Like, bitch, you just woke up and did this. Like, so they don't be putting no effort into it. They nah, just send it. No, it's just like, here go, pussy. I That's don't crazy. like shit like that. Like, I turn my own into it. I don't want you coming to me like that. You right. Know what Wait, what's your sign? I'm an airy. Oh, you crazy. No, I'm great. Yes. I'm amazing. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, um, are, like, are you into Zodiacs? Like, do you know anything about them? I know a little bit. A little bit? Not really so what signs do you get along with, and what signs you really, you be like, hey, I'm cool? 
Mm. I think it'd be like a, a, a Gemini. I don't really be cool with like that because they be doing too much. Mm -hmm. And a Taurus, like a Taurus be kind of like, all right, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, cool. So we're going to go into another game, right? It's all called right. Drink or Truth, but we ain't got no alcohol, so that means you got to tell the truth to all the questions. That mean I got to tell the truth? Well, let's go get some drink. <laughs> <laughs> they not that bad, though. Okay, all cool. Right. What's your body count? I do not know. Is that many? Or oh, it might be that list. I don't know. Oh, I'm screaming. Okay. <laughs> um, what did you want to be as a child? Where did I want to be as yeah, a like, child? Yeah, like, you know, they'd be like, what did you want to be when you grew up as uh -huh. a child? I always want I mean, I guess I always seen myself doing exactly what I'm doing. Music. Really? Yeah, writing music, writing for other people. Um, you know, one day, I, well, when I was a child, I always knew I was going to be a like a zick with a label, like I'm gonna run me a label one that's day. Crazy. Yeah. Like a, a kid, that's crazy, as like as a kid. Cause that's crazy, as a kid I always knew I was gonna be on TV. Like oh, my yeah. whole life. It's like we know, when we chosen, we know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how does it feel always being compared to Rod Wave? <sighs> um, I don't know. I don't think about it. At really? all, no. Nah. Would you ever collab with Rod? Yeah, for sure. I feel like that would be a real dope I dope think collab. it would too. Somebody need to get him on my line, I'm with it. Um, why didn't you, why did you decide not to sign with Birdman? Um, I don't know. Was it just a feeling? Nah, it was, I don't know. That time, I don't even remember that you time. You don't remember? Nah. Well, I want to know. I'll call you and tell you when I figure it out. Okay. <laughs> um, do you do any drugs? Used to. Well, now, I mean, I be on Shroom. Me too. Yeah. We were just talking about this with the crazy girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you? Uh, what is your experience with shrooms? Like, cause see, I've been trying to break it down to people because mm -hmm. people think I'm crazy, but I'm right. really not crazy. Yeah. But like, shrooms really be helping me like figure out my day to day life, and I know that makes no sense, but it just makes everything so clear nah, for it me. it makes sense to me. Yeah, it's like the shrooms just keep you in a mellow, but understanding be state clear. of mind. Like, yeah. yeah, for sure. Um. Okay, so back to truth or drink. When did you lose your virginity? When? <laughs> yeah. I think I was like 17. I was a late. I was I was doing other shit. Um, do you think that your music streams pay your bills or do you have a side hustle? Yeah, I don't do nothing but music. Just music. Yep. Yeah. Have you ever paid anyone to have sex? Oh yeah. How much? However much. It depends. Who are you? What you want? What's the price? Tell me. Really? Yeah. Cause you know some people be like, I don't pay for p you being honest. I'm I love be honest niggas. So what's the most you ever paid for some pussy? A thousand. A thousand dollars. I ain't pay no more than a thousand. Would you? It depends on who it, it depend is. It depends on who yeah. it is. It depends. Um, do you have any up and coming projects, uh, EPs? Let uh, let's talk about like let's talk about your music. Like yeah, we working, we working, um, I actually just turned in a couple songs the other day to try to come up with like a deluxe or maybe a little EP or something from my last one. Um, I've been wanting to work on movies like I did one. That's, you that's know what cool. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like I'm trying different stuff. I've been reading more, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, mm, I'm just going. I'm just mm -hmm. working. Yeah. So, um, do you like plan out your life or like do you have like a daily routine or do you kind of just wake up and however praying. you feel? The only routine that I have is wake up and praying, you know, brushing my teeth and shit. That of course, yeah. but my life is just happening. I get a call, I'm on the go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, outside of um, Atlanta, where else would, like, would you pick to live if you had a choice to pick another place to stay? Colorado Springs. You just went there, and now you're trying to move there. <laughs> that's beautiful. I went to someone called Garden of the Gods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, so if you could live in another country, ha have you, you been out of the country? You've never been out of the country? No. Why? Well, at first I couldn't get a passport, and now I got one. And okay. I just, I had somewhere I was going to go, but the person I was going to take, up, and now I ain't going. What she did? She played herself. How she played herself? I don't know. She just, she fucked up. How she fucked up? We got, we're trying to get into this. Heat. I feel you. We're going to get into some shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into some what, What's fucked up? Like, what is fucked up to you? Uh, it's a lot of shit you can do to fuck up with me. Like, you seem really, like really. you anti bullshit. You give that. Yeah, I don't fuck 
No bullshit. Yeah. No. Like you, it's, you seem like you get one chance with you, and then you be like, I'm cool. I give you two. You know what I'm saying? I give certain people three, but for the most part, a new person is like, mm -hmm. Nah, what you say? Oh, I'm cool. I'm shouting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever, um, not have you ever, but are you like interested in like the UK culture, like their artists and stuff? Yeah. yeah like, I do you am. have any favorites from over there, like Central C or you know who Kirby is? Who? Kirby. No, I haven't heard of him. I'm gonna look him up whenever yeah, we're done. Oh, uh, I fuck with Kirby. That's the only one I know over there. I mm -hmm. fuck with Kirby. Um, do you feel like? Uh, the drill music, do you feel like New York, like the New York rappers stole the UK, the UK style and made it their own? Um, that's crazy because that is, that is why I first heard it. Me from too, UK. from yeah, over there. Right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so do you think that, that gun is snitched? I don't know, I be minding my business. I don't know what he did. <laughs> yeah. So, um, are you, like, are you, a have you always been like a, what is it called? Like an independent artist? Mm -hmm. Like you've never been like a part of no group or no mm -hmm. no label or anything. Mm -hmm. So what are the struggles of being an independent artist? If you ain't having your money together, you ain't having no business. Like if you ain't, if you ain't got it together, you don't need to be independent. Real talk, you need to go work with a major for a little bit, get you some paper, then go in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like explain to like explain more because I had started I mean, doing like, music you know, too for, for videos, studios, beats. When you paying for beats from other um, producers and shit, it would be ten niggas on the beat. Mm -hmm. This nigga want five thousand. This nigga want ten thousand. This nigga want three hundred. But the nigga who gave you the beat made it seem like it was him. Now you gotta pay ten different niggas a different amount of money. Mm -hmm. um, paying people for marketing, you gotta do every single thing that the label do. Pay for marketing. Pay for mm -hmm. radio. Pay for visuals. Pay for internet presence. Like, you got everything. So what has, like, been your number one, like, personal struggle as an independent artist? Time. Mm, explain. I don't really be having time for a lot of shit. Like, it take away from time with my kids. You know what I'm saying? You like, have one kid? I got five. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, keep going. So it take away from little shit that I want to do, shit that I never did. It's kind of like I just be... Like, they make a joke. I mean, I be making a joke, but they be thinking I'm free. I be, like, feeling like a slave, like... I'm just working. I don't wake up with no plans. I don't wake up and think about nothing but, all right, what I gotta do today? All right, mm -hmm. we got a show next week. Oh, we got this, I got that, I gotta do this. Oh, let me prepare for this for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like being independent and really having to be on your shit take a lot of time. And mm -hmm. for me, that's probably one of the worst things I go through as an independent artist. So how do you handle being an artist and a parent? Like you have five kids, like how do you, and I'm sure that you have family and mm -hmm. what, how do you balance everything? It ain't none. It, I, it's, it ain't no balance. So I'm, I'm assuming that you and your child's mothers, y'all must have a great co-parenting relationship because they understand that you can't be there all the time when you need to. <laughs> it's giving no. No. Nah. Really? I just don't give a Like uh -oh. I don't care about shit. Like yeah. I really don't. I got, you know, two baby mamas that that's make life hell, but on my block them, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and plus my kids can call me on their own. How phone, old are they? You know what I'm saying? My son finna turn 14, or he just turned 14. Do he want to be a rapper? I don't know what he want to do. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, he want to play sports. He want to make beats, like I don't know, but whatever he do, I'm with it. I'm gonna yeah. let him chew what he want to do. Yeah. yeah. And how old are your other children? My daughter, uh, my, I got a daughter just turned 16, July 16. Mm -hmm. I got a two year old. A ten year old and a seventeen year old. Oh, you got a grown yeah. a grown kid. Yeah. How old are you? Thirty four. Really? Yeah. You you barely older than me. You we started right early. We right there. We the right. same age. So um okay so I was doing some research um on Google and stuff and mm. there was a like an article or a story that I read that said that you had like some it was like some controversy with your family about like you made it like they feel like you made it and you didn't come back and take care of them like what's that about? I don't know. Fuck them. I don't know who said that. <laughs> it was just, no, it was just like a, it was just an article basically about like how people like make it out mm -hmm. or make it from where they come from. They come get a lot of money and then they they like don't take care of like their family. I mean, I don't know what that comes from or who well, said it, but I'm, a, I'm feeling, yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. Didn't nobody take care of me when I was sleeping in the car. Didn't nobody give a damn when my kids ain't eating. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't right. babysit nobody. 
Right. And the people, the ones that I did in my life bring with me, they mm -hmm. all gone, so I don't owe nobody shit. Period. Like, no, yeah. I feel you on like, that. Like, I work for my shit. I'm not finna be, oh, because I grew up with you, I'm going to buy you a house. You got to work just like me. No, period. Fact. Um, so, as far as longevity, who do you feel like in the industry now has, like, a uh, potential to have a, a long career? Like a Jay-Z or or somebody like that? A Nas, somebody that has a, a long career, that could potentially have a long career? Like, nowadays, who I think could be a, the next Jay-Z That could be a next Jay-Z or the next Nas or the next Puff or something like that. Rick Ross? I yeah, I can see Rick that. Ross, yeah, he, he, I, I watch him. He, he do a lot of little different business shit. Yeah. Um, let me see, but let me go younger. Lil mm -hmm. Baby, I think Lil Baby can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got his shit together. He handling his business. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, that's it. That's, that's it. Why, yeah. What about Future? Oh yeah, well Future, you know what I'm saying? He doing yeah. his thing. I, I feel like he already. He already there. Like Drake's kind of already there too. Yeah, you feel me? How yeah. you feel about Rilo? Which one? Rodriguez. I with him. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he had potential too. Like yeah, I was yeah. really, um, really shocked at his album. It was good. Yeah, like I how I judge him. albums, I listen to them. If it ain't no skips, I'd be like, okay, this is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the last album you listened to? <laughs> Rollo. See? <laughs> See me here? Yeah, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Um, uh, how many tattoos do you have? Um. Mm -mm. Do any of them like have any significance? Like, what's your favorite one? Um, I don't think I got no favorite one. Or they all significant though, but I don't know. They just my. This is just a this story. Is your yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I love tattoos. I think they're dope. You should get you should get your legs done. I want to. I just don't know what to get. It's like, what do you tat on your leg? The same that you tat on your stomach. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. I I ain't yeah. I ain't think about it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just have to let an artist go crazy. Okay, so when you first, when you first, made your first like. Fifty thousand dollars. What's the first thing you bought? Hmm. When I my, when I made my first. Oh, your, your your first hundred thousand dollars. Well, my first check was five hundred thousand. Five hundred. Okay. With yeah. your first five hundred thousand. What's the first my, thing my you first went to go check, buy? Yeah. So, I went to the bank and tried to cash it. I ain't know no better. Yeah, I tried to cash a five hundred thousand dollar check so I could have the money in my book bag, right? What did they say? They were like, "Sir, you can't do that. We don't even have that much money here." <laughs> I'm like, "What? I ain't know that." So, I put it in the bank, and I think the first thing I did was I oh, went to the strip club or something. You like went to the strip 000. club. That was yeah. the first thing you did. Yeah, like I celebrated. Yeah. Yeah. Me and the homies. You don't remember the first bitches. thing you bought? Was it a car? Was it a watch? Was it some, well, I, some I don't jewelry? Know. It's like everything was just happening. Like yeah. I can't even remember the first thing I did. Like, how did that feel? Like what? Like from, I guess like being what people would call broke because everybody vision yeah. of broke is different to like getting that a five hundred thousand dollar check. Good. Like, did it, it feel like unreal? Yes. Like I was like, this can't be real. That's like, crazy. And when you went to the bank and they said they couldn't cash, I bet you like yeah, this I was ain't scared. Real. Nah, I was scared. <laughs> like, oh shit, did I fuck up. Did I do something I wasn't supposed to do? Like, yeah. Now, How old were you then? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Like, this is when I Boy, dropped my first album. Yeah, you don't remember? I, See, these are things you should remember. Stories to tell your kids. It's true, man. I this is true. Yeah, <laughs> I'm living now. Yeah. You know what I'm no, I feel you. But, um, yeah, I don't know what I did first. I yeah. really don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. That's crazy. Um, okay, cool. So, in the, where do you see yourself in the next five years? This is the last question. The next five years. If everything goes as planned, I just see myself really on top of my shit. Um, I'm going to have an exit plan, you know, to get out of the music. And, so you want to get out? Get into the, yeah, well, as an artist. Yeah. I want to get up the ladder, you know what I'm saying? I want to develop artists. Um, like next QC vibes. Yeah, you yeah. hear me? Yeah, I want to yeah, go get me a couple of young, young female rappers, put them in the game, teach them the game. But I want, I want to do different, like all the bullshit. Went through in the game, I'm gonna kind of like coach and teach them when you come to my label. Like, I'm not gonna let you be a dumb artist on my label. Like, I'm gonna right. teach you financially how to keep yourself afloat because this shit can stop. Right. You feel me? It doesn't stop for me hell of time, but God bless me and keep going. Right. So, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna change lives. Like in the next five years, I just see myself really improving the world. Like That's improving dope. people. Yeah. That's dope. So. 
I was doing some research on my phone five uh-huh. minutes ago, uh-huh. and I saw that you wrote Bitter by Summer Walker. How did you get the opportunity? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Summer Walker and all them folk, man. Shout out to London on the track. Um, but yeah, London called me, and he was like, hey, bro, I need you to come help me with this record with Summer. Um, I know you're the only one who can do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just need you to come through right quick. Mm-hmm. I come through. He had like a melody laid out. He went through a couple of things like, hey, you know, this what she be want to feel like. She want to say this what I be going through, da, 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 da. I put all that together and I went in the booth and put it together. But if you listen, you can hear me talking like, well, not hear me talking, but just what some walking is saying. Just it's imagine like if that's me saying it. it. Yeah. yeah, but I ain't saying, I mean, I ain't saying, you know, the, the, the girl way. Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? No, yeah, I get yeah. it. It's like, like basically, like you living through her words, well, she's living through your words in her own. Yeah. Like, now she did way. her thing now, cause yeah, I ain't, if ate. you hear my version and then hear her version, you gonna be like, Lord. Yeah. Like she put all them stats and you know so her I voice can ask amazing. So I your bracelets or no? Yeah. For okay. Sure. So um, how did you? Get, okay, so your bracelets are Efa. I knew that because I'm uh-huh. super into like, I'm just in, into a whole bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. Like I love like spirituality, everything yeah. that has to do with it. Like I'm not um religious. Mm-hmm. Wait, no. Yeah, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. Right. So I'm not like a religion, uh-huh. um, but I do study like different like spiritual religions. Uh-huh. So can you tell us a little bit about Aoife and like why you chose Aoife over Christianity? Um, or is I that feel too like deep? It ain't too deep. Oh, okay. I feel like um, it chose me. Like I didn't, it was the only thing that felt natural. Like, um, you know, being, not like I've been there, but hearing, you know, how it all formed. Um, back in the day from the slave trade, certain slaves went here, certain slaves went here, mm-hmm. in which I'm following the Cuban way, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, um, I don't know, it's the only thing that actually made sense to me. Like, right. um, I'm not saying that I don't believe in, or believe the stuff that they say, you know, Jesus did or Allah, none of that. Like, yeah. I'm just saying that this is what worked with me. This is what mm-hmm. made me feel comfortable. This is what made me say, yeah, I can understand that. I'm a human. Uh, I mean, but you know, one day I'm gonna be an ancestor, and these people gonna be—they gonna be talking about me today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like one day. Do you day, have you an altar and all that stuff? Huh? Do you have like an ancestral altar? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, do you be putting food on it and stuff? I ain't. No, I don't. Like, put, you not daddy. No, nah, I don't put food on it. But I like, mean, you put cigars, cigarettes, liquor, none of that. Yeah. Cigars, flowers. I think that's so cool because people yeah. be thinking I'm crazy. And I found somebody again. that's like me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Again, <laughs> you know, people don't know. So, yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's the wrap. Uh, this is your camera. Let them know where they can find you, all your social media, websites, anything that you got coming up. Anything you want to tell the people that we ain't talked about, this mm-hmm. is all you right now. What's happening? It's your boy, The Red Sun. You can check me out on all social media platforms at The Red Sun, D E R E Z D E S H O N. My. What is that shit called? Oh, TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> My TikTok is the real, the red, the sun, everything spelled right. Um, yeah, fuck with me. Go get that shit. Bigger Dude. than me. What's the what's your last last project you dropped? Bigger than me. Oh yeah, so y'all go get bigger than me, right? For sure. Yeah. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Okay, yeah. cool. It's a wrap. Uh, we done. That was easy, right? Yeah. Okay. It was fun. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming. I appreciate Thank you. you. For sure.